Okay, hey guys, haven't made a video in a long time, so I'm, this is going to be a bit of a uh, longer one. Got to try to show you everything that I'm doing in one video tonight. I've uh, been really busy, I guess, with school starting back up. But you don't want to hear about that, you want to hear about miniatures and painting. So, I guess the biggest thing that I've been working on is stuff for an ancient battles campaign. You've already seen the Celts and stuff, just about done. Um, I've converted a few of them, I converted one of the chariots and the standard bearer, which I'll show you in a second. Other thing is, got these uh, Roman cavalry from Hat. Very expensive miniatures for 12 of them. It's 12.95, so that's a little under 12 a dollar a miniature um, for these little tiny wee ones. They're only like that size. Um, either way, so uh, basically, you pretty much the two best poses in here is like you know, just me are these two. These other two guys pretty much have to replace because they just don't look good. So I've replaced those two on a lot of them. And the horses, a lot of the horses got shipped when I tried to pack them together to transport them to uh, friends for painting. And uh, so that's that. Um, here's the banner conversion I did. The banner used to be just um, just the pole. So what I did was I put on this little slip of paper. Now for a model this size, um, paper is okay to use. For a bigger one, I wouldn't recommend it because it'll see more wear and tear. These are pretty safe. Um, the Celts are described as being almost like blue demons, so I gave them lots of blue paint everywhere without completely covering up the skin. Um, his back and everywhere. And uh, he's also painted on this big face. Not sure if you can see that. Looks like a big target on here, but there is two eyes and a mouth. And uh, so, yeah, for scale, okay, there's the figure. There's my hand. That is a teensy weensy figure, just about the size, a little over the size of my thumbnail. Very small miniature, but also very cool and very rewarding to see done. So put it up there. Um, next thing, I'm working on uh, some terrain pieces, some kind of manufactorum type thing. I was inspired by blue table painting. Okay, if you don't know who blue table painting is, painting service in Utah in Spanish Fork. Uh, so if you don't want to paint your miniatures, or if you're in a rush before, like a campaign, uh, call them up or email them. They'll give you a really good deal, and uh, their work is absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, call them up. They'll do terrain. They, they'll do anything for you. Um, and so I was inspired by them. So in fact, minimize this video, type in their channel, and go and subscribe. So I'll just wait a second. All right, now that you've had time to do that. Um, so yeah, here's the first piece. It's got like these hazard markings on it. I want it to be like almost destroyed, um, you know, as I said, manufactorum, so kind of like a construction area. It's got this rusted pipe with rusty water spilling out either end. And the base is just foam core. And these bricks are like modeling putty that I've painted up and um, stuck on there. This is just a straw glued on, painted with Mini Wargaming's uh, rust effects. One thing, with rust effects, it says do red, brown, and gray. I'd also uh, recommend giving a very, 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 very light dry brush of orange because it just gives it that little extra rusty look. So that's that first piece. This is a really cool one here. It's a big smokestack type thing. You got these like rusty patches on it. You got like it says on there. It says caution, caution down there. It says again. Got again the hazard markings lining up against it. Some overgrowth on the bottom. Uh, that's just an organ gun that I've painted up and converted a little bit to make it look like a technological type weapon. You had a pile of these rusted pipes that turned out really great. Once again, with that very light dry brush of orange, it really adds that extra hint to it. I've got this corrugated piping here, which is just a uh, straw that I've bent. And as you can see, I've still got some fixing to do. Like I've got to paint that over in black so it doesn't look like. Uh, crap. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, now, these are all, aside from the organ gun, all scratch materials built on this project. And I'm going to try to stress that as a theme throughout it. And I've got a few other ideas for, um, for that. I'm thinking some orc barricades would look really good on here. So, um, yeah, so that's that. So, um, and I guess this last thing I'm doing is, oops, these, uh, vampire counts project. In retrospect, I probably should have just moved the camera back instead of moving all of them up, but you know, oh well. Um, some of these vampire counts. 
So the first one is uh, Baron von Karstein. I'm not sure if Baron's right thing you say. Uh, mounted on horse. Now, when I got the model, this is for a friend of mine that I'm painting it for. It had no tail and no head. So I worked on uh, sculpting it over with some green stuff to give it a tail. And I've sculpted over the head area to make it look like it was supposed to be like a headless horse. And as you can see, he's got a little like goblin skin pouch. Um, stuff, so... He's a right model to paint very hard because this is the, the cape especially is hard to get well, especially underneath it because it's a big metal model. Um, so yeah, then here's the foot model for him, which I've painted up the same way. Um, um, I can't take all the credit. One of these other guys did a little bit of shading for them and a, a base coat for this guy and for the standard bearer, but it was kind of almost a wreck, so I had to fix that up. Uh, no offense to you, Max, but... Yeah. And, um... Got the stand bear. He's missing his arm right now. Because for painting, it says Grave Guard on there. It's got some, um... A black wash over it, and black wash over all the armor. And you've got the musician, who is an incredibly cool mancher. Um, I'm thinking of converting him, so he's got... Instead of one, he's hold a uh, weapon in the other hand. He's holding like another instrument. I know that wouldn't work in the game. But he would look cool. And they've all got these rusty weapons. And you've just got these two guys here with axes and shields. And um, yeah, so that's about uh, what I've been working on for the past little while. Um, shoutouts to number one gamer Ash, great kid, great painter, and he's from the UK, so he has to be cool. Um. So, uh, yeah, keep on painting, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.